So now that we know we can use subtotals and grand totals to change the look of our pivot table quickly, let's also take a look at report layout. And if I use this, what this will allow me to do is to change the way the information is organized in the pivot table. Um, now it's not going to change necessarily the order of how the fields are arranged, but it's just going to change the way it looks, how they're spread out. Uh, so in this case, if I choose show in compact form, uh, that's the default. And so you saw nothing changed because that's the default in Excel 2007. Uh, if however I come in here and I use outline form. This was the default in 2003, so that might look familiar to you if you used previous versions of Excel. Uh, what that's done is just spread it out a little more. Uh, the team field now has its own column, the associate field has its own column, and so on. It's just a little more spread out, uh, but if I change it back to the default for 2007, you can see team and associate are just under this group called row labels. And finally, the, the third one is to show in tabular form, and that just spreads out a little bit, just like in outline form, um, but it kind of has that cell look to it. You can see I've got these different cells here. Um, and so that just is a different look. If someone prefers to view it that way, uh, that option's there. I'm going to go ahead and change it back to compact form, and in the next video we'll take a look at how do I can change some of the colors and things like that using the design tab as well.